Hey, how's it going, investors and traders? It's Jose from Stock Market 101, and I'm bringing you guys another daily update video. I want to do this very quick and short. You see, my portfolio is at $13,700, basically up almost $700 today. In the past week, we've all known that the stock market's been roaring upwards, so I decided to kind of hedge my portfolio with some puts just in case if the markets decide to go down I know that starting next week earnings are coming out so and we all know that earnings are gonna be horrendous for every single company out there I'm saying 95% of every company out there is gonna report really 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 bad earnings so that might bring the stock market down I don't know since the stock market it's been going up for the past week and right now we're basically at the halfway point from the lows and the halfway point from the high so it went up 50% basically from the lows which is pretty insane so I decided to buy this uh, 273 put that expires on May 15th this is just to hedge my position so if the stock market decides to keep going green I'll basically be able to make money from this but then I'll lose money so it'll even out but if the markets decide to go down which I believe so at least in the next month I believe that the market will end up lower than it is right now then I could be able to capitalize a little bit from that which is good and hopefully use that funds to buy more companies on the downtrend and be able to average down on my positions even though there's only a few companies now that will be able to average down at these prices as go on to each position individually starting off with Square. Square's at $60.15 up 3.8% today and right now my total return is up above and the positive at 4.84% which is at $61 so this is why I'm not buying anything right now because I am above my uh, average cost. Next one we have here Facebook. Facebook's at 175. My average cost is at 172. I have 12 shares. I'm up 1.68% today. So this just needs to go down a little bit. $3, about $3. So then I can start uh, buying in mo more into Facebook so I can lower my average cost. Next one we have here is NVIDIA. NVIDIA is at 264. Uh, there was only one time in this uh, downtrend from the market that I was able to buy some and it just barely hit and I'm up 36.47% don't plan on buying any Nvidia until it breaks below 200 next one I'm doing this very very quickly Tesla if Tesla can go anywhere close to $500 again or below $400, oh, $500 I'll start adding uh, some shares into it by maybe a hundred dollars at a time incre increments of a hundred uh, I'm up 18.27 percent which is four hundred sixty dollars and forty two cents my goal is to get at least ten shares of Tesla so hopefully the market do decide to go down so my put can make me some money so I then I can buy some shares of Tesla next one uber uber is one of the ones that I am down quite a bit and I'm down 15.3 percent I have fifty three dollars oh, 53 shares my average cost is 32 41 and it's at 27.45 so it needs to go up another five dollars for me to break even but I don't want that I want it to go down and I'm down two hundred sixty two dollars and eighty seven cents which is down fifteen point three percent let's go on to my next holding next one is Roku Roku I'm down also so Uber and Roku I am down I'm down seventeen point five eight percent I do have twenty four shares my average cost is one hundred twelve dollars and thirty five cents so this needs to go down up another uh, 20 bucks for me to be at my average cost I'm down 17.58 percent which is four hundred seventy four dollars and two cents in the red let's go on to the next one next one we have here are my cannabis holdings all three of my cannabis holdings I am down significantly on I'm just holding on to it right now I'm not planning on selling it some more very very long-term holds uh, IPR is at seventy three dollars right now my average cost is one hundred one dollars and fifty two cents I'm down twenty seven point nine percent which is five hundred ninety-four dollars and eight cents in the red. Don't plan on buying any more, at least until I can bring up my um, share count in every other company. Next one is Aurora Cannabis. Aurora Cannabis, I am down a lot on. Um, my average cost is a dollar eighty-two. It's at eighty-nine cents. I'm down fifty-one point nineteen percent, which is four thousand four hundred eighty-nine dollars and seventeen cents. Uh, when the markets open again, I will buy. I'll actually will sell some calls to make some income so it'll be another hundred to 150 ish dollars that I'll be able to add in the next week 
from selling the calls because I don't believe Aurora Cannabis will hit $1.50 in a week. Let's be honest, unless some crazy, unless they get acquired by someone, they won't double up in price in a week, just like that. Let's go on to the next one. Next one's my last cannabis holding canopy growth, canopy growth. It's at 126. I have 126 shares. It's at 14. $1.57. My average cost is $22.66. I'm down 35.69%, which is uh, I'm down $1,018.76. And I do have a call. I'm selling a call right now. And it's going to give me the $14 premium. And it's for it to hit 17. So it needs to hit 17 before I would have to sell. And I won't hit 17 next week. So that's an easy $14 for me to keep. And I'll just keep doing that. That's the goal to get all these companies to 100 shares so I can start selling calls and make more passive income. Next one we have here are the new ones that I bought. AMD. AMD is at $48.95. I'm at $41.45. I'm up 18.09%, which is $45. Let's go into the next one. Next one we have is Apple. Apple the big dog. My average cost $235. It's at $269 right now. I'm up 14.12%, which is $133.18. And let's go on to Shopify. Shopify is at $422 now. And um, my average cost is $338.20. I have only two shares. But I'm almost up $100 per share already. That's crazy. I'm up 24.78%. $167.60. Let's go on to the next one. Microsoft, I have three shares. It's at $165. It was up a little bit today, 0.21%. Uh, my average cost is at $137.56. I'm up 20.29%, which is $83.74. And let's go to the last one Planet Fitness. It's up to $55.59. I'm up 17%. I was just down basically. Uh, let's see, what was the lowest point? I was down to almost. 50%. I was down almost 50% on this. And now I'm up 17% just like that. Man, if you got into this, kudos to you. If you got into this around here, you are doing very well. My average cost is 47.40. I want to get this down to below 40. I'm up 17.29%, which is 65.55. I want to get this below 40. Maybe even to the mid 30s would be very nice. So we're just going to have to see what happens. The feds, they're just printing money. With all these stimulus packages, if they keep adding stimulus packages, the short term, it would keep the markets up. But I believe long term, it would really have a big reaction. Big, big things gonna happen in the market long term if this happens. If they keep bringing out money like this, it's in, it's just inflation, hyperinflation. If they just keep putting money out like that. That's what I'm thinking. But you know. People need the money to survive right now because they're not working. And my thesis for the short term is earnings. This little bull run that we're on right now, that basically a 50% jump from the bottom to the top. We're basically halfway from the bottom and halfway from the top right now. I believe that we'll probably have a little retracement if not a big a big correction back, it's just hard to tell what happens, how people react to the earnings in the coming month. That's why I bought this, just in case if a reaction is bad, we could probably see new lows very, very quickly. We've just seen the market go down very, very quickly. And we've seen it come up very, very fast. So uh, people are reacting quickly. It's not slow. You gotta be ready for these kind of moves. And I'm just hedging my portfolio just in case if we do see negative reactions to the earnings next week and the following month, I'm ready for it just in case. And if not, then I'll cut my losses short. I'll probably sell out at 30%. So I'll probably sell out. So I'm only losing $300 max. Or I'll hold on. It just doesn't, it depends, you know. Just a hedge. It's not like I'm betting big on. That I'm gonna make money is just so if the markets do go down, I'll be okay with it. And if the markets go up, I'll be okay with that either. Okay, and that's the end of the video. Just a little update on the portfolio today. Do drop a like, subscribe to our post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next portfolio update.